Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. My name is Courtney, also known as Bolo Buddies, and I sell things that you walk past. Hey, Bolo Buddies. Thanks for watching. Time reseller. $600 for a My Little Pony. Amazing, right? All right, let's get started. In this video, we are going to talk about my bread and butter bolos, items I sold on eBay for $35 or less that I picked up cheap at thrift stores, estate sales, garage sales, you name it, the Goodwill bins, just anywhere and everywhere. I source low and I sell for a profit and that's what I do for a living and I love my job. So in this video, I'm going to tell you where I got it what I paid for it and what it sold for. And I would love for you to let me know in the comments if you sell these types of items or if maybe some of the items I've picked up in this video have maybe given you some ideas of things that you may wanna try and source in the future. Let's get started. The first item I sold is this Boyd's Bear. And I'm gonna tell you right now, this thing was listed for a very, very, very long time. I do pick up Boyd's Bear plush. Now, a lot of people do not pick these up. If you can find the Boyd's Bears minis with the little sweatshirts that say things, those can sometimes sell for over $100. Those are definitely a bolo. The regular sized um, Boyd's Bear, they don't go for as much, but they are a great bread and butter. If I can get them for a dollar or less, I am going to pick it up. I am patient and I will wait for the right seller or the right buyer to come along for something like this. This came from a garage sale. I picked up a whole bunch of Boyd's Bears. I went into the garage sale. I said, how much for all of them? So my cost of goods was less than a dollar each. They were all in fantastic condition. And some of them sold like super fast for $30, $35, you know? So that was great. I made my money back very, very quickly. This one was long tail, took a long time to sell, but I still flipped it for a profit. This is Little Red Riding Hood. I sold this for $12.39 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this dollhouse wood bendable toy figures. I could not identify these. I just knew that they would sell. I just had a feeling and they ended up selling really quickly. The condition was fair, not great. Some of them had condition issues from being played with. I picked these up at a thrift store for $1 and I sold these for $27.90 plus shipping. And that was unbranded and they sell, still sold. This car right here, I got this out of a thrift store mystery box and it's from 1980. It did take a long time to sell. I don't even know why I listed it. This is not my type of thing. I usually bundle cars up because I don't want to take the time to research it. But for some reason, I listed this one. I ended up selling it for $9.30 plus shipping. Uh, it did take a long time to sell. This sold, I got this over the summer. So, um, or no, it was last summer. Let me see. I can tell you. Let's look and see when I listed this. I listed this in November of 2022. So I guess I bought it. That's a weird time to go to a garage sale. Huh. Maybe I let it sit. Maybe it sat in my money pile. That's probably what happened. That would not surprise me. I think this sat in my garage for a while. So November, that's not too bad. I got this at a garage sale. I paid $5 for it. And the reason I paid $5 for it, that's paying up a little bit for me. I'm usually like to be around $3 for stuff like this. But it was in the original box. It had all of the information. It was numbered. And I was like, all right, I'll give you five bucks. And I ended up selling this for a best offer of $34 plus shipping. It's a vintage Star Wars episode one, Queen uh, Amilda, Amil I don't know how to say that, miniature applause, 1999 first edition figurine. So that's what it looks like. These brass butterflies took a really, really, really long time to sell. They were heavy. Um, I don't know if they're uh, like paperweights or just decor, but they're really, really cool. But they were long tail. I got them at a thrift store for three bucks and I sold them for a best offer of 25 plus shipping. I may have just had them priced a little bit too high. These tights right here are express and I bought a whole bunch of these. Why am I showing you this? 
because it's clothing and I don't do a lot of clothing anymore. But what I like about when I did do clothing is I would buy things in quantity and I could list it and forget it. Um, oh, they changed how this looks. This looks different to me. So eBay is definitely making some changes right now. So I have sold six of these and I have six available. I do have them listed low. I think I paid less than a dollar each for these. Now here's the problem. They look black, but they're really this color, which is kind of a weird color. I don't even know how to describe this color, but if you look at the original photo, they look black. Old, and I have them listed at $5.26. Best offer, I take best offers. So what did I sell these for? These ended up selling for, oh, they must have bought more than one. $8.49 plus shipping. So they bought probably two pair. Vintage plush elephant mom and baby stuffed animal from 1997. Got this at the Goodwill bins. Sold this for $13 plus shipping. This is a vintage flor... Florenza bobblehead turtle bobbing nodder with red velvet pin cushion. Look how stinking cute this is. This came out of a dibble box that I got from Donatella Bottolino that was purchased for me from I Buy Chit. That's C H I T. Um, it's just a play on words. He's super awesome. And he said, send her a box from me. So if you want to see that unboxing, it is on my channel. Lots of great vintage, really cool items in that box. A dibble box is a dibble bit of this and a dibble bit of that. Uh, Donatella is mostly over on Whatnot Now selling, but she is still doing the dibble boxes over there. So if you guys are not on Whatnot and you are interested in a dibble box, here's what you need to do. Go down, join Whatnot with my referral link, you're going to get $15 of free money. Then you can go follow Donatella, but don't forget to follow me because I'm selling over there too, but follow Donatella. It's just her first name on whatnot. And when you go into her live show, ask her if she has any dibble boxes and sometimes she puts those in the buy it now. So that is what she is currently doing. So that's just a little update. You used to get them on her YouTube channel. Now she's selling them on whatnot. All right, the next item I sold is this Eric Carlisle plush bear lovey. And I knew that this was going to sell quick because it is Eric Carlisle. He is a book writer and very, very popular. And this is stinking adorable. I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for a best offer of $19 plus shipping. And it sold pretty quickly. Loveys sell good. Uh, some of them are big money. Some of them are bread and butter, but there is always somebody looking for them and you always get the nicest notes with them. So I love selling lovies. Another person who loves selling lovies is the rebel reseller. Go sub up my friend rebel. I will link her down below along with Donatella Bottolino. So this next I item is a Melrose and market black sun hat. This one I got at the Goodwill Benz. I think this was a part of my scavenger hunt with the dumpster diva. I could be wrong, but I think. If you missed that, you can definitely check it out. And also go follow the dumpster diva. She is incredible. I will link her down below as well. This hat uh, I probably paid less than a dollar for by weight. If you don't know, the Goodwill Benz is by weight. So you fill your cart up and they weigh it and they charge you by the pound. It is awesome. And I have videos of me digging through the bins. So if you haven't checked out those videos, go check them out. What an experience it is. I absolutely love it. Sold this hat for a best offer of $18 plus shipping. The next item are these Magic Tracks replacement green car and fire truck. And I sold this for $13 and the buyer paid shipping. Those also came out of the Goodwill bins. This is Disney Pixar Incredibles 2 Jack-Jack Attacks Replacement Raccoon. It is just the raccoon. I got this out of a thrift store mystery box, and I sold this guy for $14.30 plus shipping. This is a Bucilla Christmas Felt Holiday Ornament Kit. It is open. I think it's complete, but not 100% sure, so I just put that information there, and I read ahead and ran it on auction Got it for about a buck at a garage sale. Sold it for $10.50 plus shipping. The next item I sold is this llama dog toy. 
and it squeaks and it has really bright colors. It's really fun and cool. It did not appear to have ever been used, but I was not sure. So I marked it as used. I got this at, um, where did I get this? I got this at the Goodwill bins and I sold this for a best offer of $10 plus shipping. The next item here is this vintage Barbie tropical splash Kira doll. And I got her at the Goodwill bins as well. And I took a best offer of, no, I'm sorry. She sold for my sell, sale price of $12.40 plus shipping. And she came from the bins. The next item I sold is this Barbie Club Chelsea replacement piece part. It's the pink. I put pink. I think that's purple. I should have put purple there. Uh, it's I probably did sell similar eek, uh, but it's the purple and brown bear. These are replacements. And I got these out of a mystery box from a viewer. A viewer sent me a mystery box and I do have that over on my channel and you can see everything I got, but it was a huge box of awesome, fun stuff that I parted out. And this is one of the items. I sold this for $13 plus shipping. And that concludes this video. Thank you guys. Oh, I've got jewelry for my whatnot show falling on the ground. Um, I do have a jewelry show coming up. Lots and lots of jewelry shows coming your way. So I hope you guys will follow me on whatnot. Got sidetracked by the jewelry falling on the floor. Thank you for being here. Let me know which item was your favorite. If you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. Um, I also sell on Poshmark and Mercari and whatnot. So those are my platforms. eBay is my main platform. I start my items on eBay and I cross post them with List Perfectly to Mercari and Poshmark. And List Perfectly is awesome. It's a cross posting service. And oh my goodness, it speeds things up so much. As I always say, more platforms, more eyes on your items. I do have a demo bit video down below if you want to check that out. Um, it's going to walk you through exactly how to use List Perfectly. And you can either use the catalog or you can do it how I do it and just cross post directly from one platform to another. It's completely up to you. There's lots and lots of options and no one set way you have to do things. You do what works best for you. Check out that video. And if you think it's something you would like to try, you can use coupon referral code Bolo Buddies, all one word, and that will get you 30% off your first month. Also down below, if you haven't ordered your bubble wrap, if you're already using American Bubble Boy and it's time to reorder, I do have a link down below. I do get credit when you guys use my link, so I appreciate that. Um, I've got some other affiliates down there. These are things, products that I use. And most of the time, you guys get something if you use my link. So check out those links down below. You might find something that interests you. Um, let's see what else is down there. Worth points down there. You don't get anything for using that, but it does help me. So I appreciate it if you decide to use that. I do have videos on how to use Worth Point and how it has helped me make more money with my business. I put off Worth Point forever and ever and ever because I'm like, I am not paying that. And then I got it and I was like, I should have got this a long time ago because I have lost money by not having it. So I do have videos that kind of explains that. Is it pricey? Yes. Is it for everyone? No. Um, check out the videos. I talk about um, who who it's probably good for and who it's not. I don't know if it's good for clothing. If anybody knows, let me know in the comments. I don't use the marks uh, markings. I'm not really sure how that works. If you use the markings and you guys want to explain that in the comments, that would be awesome. How it benefits you if you think it's worth the extra money. It does cost more to get that. I think that's for like jewelry and pottery and stuff like that. I'm just bringing my jewelry to whatnot and saying, this is what it looks like. <laughs> this is what it says. This is the mark it has on it. So I'm not really worried about marks anymore. Uh, I really struggle with jewelry as far as selling it on the regular platforms, because I don't know how to describe stuff. I'm not good at it. I don't know what stones are. I bought one of those Presidium gemstone testers, and it's great if you know what, if you know what stones are, but I don't. And usually it goes into a margin of like three different stones and it'll fall. The little thing will fall into that area. And I'm like, this does not help me at all. <laughs> I have a video on me using it. Go check it out. It's a really, really old video. It probably says Presidium Tester. 
And you guys can see exactly what I mean. Uh, my husband, on the other hand, he uses it just kind of to see if things are diamonds and stuff like that. So I'm glad I got it. I don't regret buying it, but uh, I'm just not very good at it. So I'd rather bring it to whatnot, hold it up, show it to you guys and let you guys decide what it's worth. And sometimes I'm going to lose money that way, but that's okay because you're going to get a good deal and you're going to make a profit and I'm good with that. So check me out on whatnot. That's down below. If you're not on Mercari and Poshmark, I do have links down below for that. Also Poshmark, you get $10 to shop if you use my link and Mercari, you get $10 to shop when you join with my link down below. It's, these are all referral links and $10 when you join with it. And then another 20 when you sell a hundred dollars worth of stuff. So uh, I like selling on Poshmark and Mercari. I was on Etsy. I have not listed on Etsy in so long, but if you're thinking about getting on Etsy, one thing that I will tell you, um, I was super, super intimidated by Etsy because I felt like all of the things that you had to fill in were really tricky and just confusing. And when I go from eBay to Etsy using list perfectly, it simplifies that process. So in the future, maybe I will get more items on Etsy. Right now, I'm focusing on whatnot and just trying to keep up with a video a day and what I have going on with eBay, Poshmark, and Mercari. So Etsy's kind of just sitting there hanging out right now. Now, will I use it more in the future? Quite possibly. But if you guys sell vintage items, it is definitely a great platform. So think about um, if you're on eBay only and you have vintage items, think about getting them on Etsy. So, uh, yeah, list perfectly is great for that. All right, you guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching. If you're new here, let me know how you found the channel. Let me know which item was your favorite, which one you would have walked past. And now you're not going to walk past it. And thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe, like comment and share.